Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make American Girl Z's desk so I hope you guys enjoy and if you do don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and let's get on with the video. So for the base of her desk I used an American Girl box and I cut her about 2 inches off the bottom of it just to make it the right size. So here are all the pieces of cardboard you're going to use. I doubled each of these pieces up and also the dimensions are going to be in the description box if you miss it right here. But after you cut that out, I'm going to go ahead and take my bottom cupboard part and measure it on the bottom of my box and just mark down where it is going to lay down. And then after that, I'm going to take my one shelf and I actually added tabs to this one to make it a little bit sturdier. You don't have to, but I glued that into place with some hot glue. And then I'm going to take my bottom cupboard piece and I'm going to glue that right on top of there. So after that, I'm going to take my two other shelves and I'm going to place them into my box and then glue them into place. And after that was completed, I took white strips of paper and I glued them on all the edges to clean it up. And I also did that on the desk part and the front cupboard. And then with some white acrylic paint, I just painted the entire box. This took a while and I would recommend doing two coats. But I didn't have enough paint for it, but I definitely think two coats would be just the right amount. And I didn't paint this front part because I'm going to take some of this thick cardstock paper from the front of a scrapbooking sheet thing. And I'm going to mark and cut that out. And then I'm going to glue it on top along with another, pe another piece of cardstock to go on top of that one, if that makes sense. But I glued that all together. And then also on the desk and the front cupboard, I took some cardstock and covered that. And once I was finished, everything looked like this. And now with the cupboard part on the bottom, I'm going to take this piece of cardstock that I cut into a long strip and then folded it in half. And this is going to be the desk, how the, a desk attaches. So I just glued that onto the cupboard as well as onto the desk and once it was finished it looked like this so then it can open and close which you don't actually have to do that you could just glue it right on but yeah then I made sure that it fit inside and then I'm going to take these pieces of cardstock and fold them in half and then glue them onto the cupboard thing so then it can open and close and then with some jumbo popsicle sticks I'm going to glue them together um, just the ends of it and then I'm going to glue two of the combined popsicle sticks together um, to make like a V and then I added some other ones that are smaller and then I just painted it blue because that's the color um, Z's desk is but you could do whatever color you would like. I just use acrylic paint for this. And to attach the legs of the desk, I'm just going to use some hot glue and glue the two um, popsicle stick structures onto each side and then there is the base of your desk. So for her chair, I just used a chair that I already had. This is from Kit's desk, but you could really use any chair that you have on hand. And now it's time to decorate it, which is my favorite part. So I have this memo board that I created that I'm just going to pin onto the wall and then I'm using a placemat and then there's this computer, which I actually have a tutorial for on my channel. So you guys should go check that out and I also have a lamp there and um, then on the front I'm going to add this calendar because these have that has that in the picture and then on the shelves I pretty much just put random stuff so I have some school supplies, some notebooks, um, pencil case, a camera because she likes to take pictures, some magazines and a bunch of stuff like that. And then on the side I hung a backpack. And there we go, that is it. I think it turned out super cute. It doesn't look exactly the same, but it definitely looks similar. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below video ideas for me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!